what is going on guys this is Arshad Samir welcome to the second Java JDBC tutorial in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to add the downloaded Java file into our Eclipse program so let's start just click on the file and new Java program sorry Java project uh, I'm gonna give a name like okay I'm giving giving my name Arshad finish and right click on the project name go to properties as you can see here is a feature Java build path click on it and libraries add external jars so as you can see my downloaded jar file is inside the downloads compressed MySQL connector and here here is the jar file just click on it and open just hit on to the OK button there we go as you can see here is the connector so now we have a connector we can do any programming inside this Eclipse IDE but we need to provide a connection to a database so that we need a database so our next next task is to create a database in order to provide a connection with the help of MySQL connector so let's start how to create a database so guys I'm using WAMP server so just go to that I don't know what you are using you can use whatever you want and double click on it yes and we need to wait until this symbol gets green yeah there we go just click on the local host and just click on the PHP my admin yeah there we go as you can see here here is the username and the password you need to keep in your mind what is your username and the password is because after creating the database and the table while providing a connection to the database we need to provide all these informations just keep it in your mind what is your username and the passwords just hit on to go button in order to create a database just click on to the option call here you can see databases so we need to we need to give a name for our database just put it as JDBC tutorial and click on to the button create yeah there we go JDBC tutorial now we need to create a table so in order to create a table just click on to the database JDBC tutorial as you can see here we can give the table name and how many number of columns we need all this stuff we can but for some reason I'm going to create it by SQL query so let's start in order to create a table just type create table and whatever the name you want to give I'm going to give it as sales people there we go guys let's give a unique identifier for this table so I'm going to call it as ID and it is an integer and if you want you can specify a size but as far as the integer is concerned it will take a default size if you don't specify any value for the maximum size of the identifier and furthermore this is a unique identifier so it cannot be null so just put not null at the same time it can be auto increment so and the second column is names of the salespeople I'm going to name it as its name and this is a watcher watcher means pretty much like sorry 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 watcher is pretty much like string to define string but you have to give you have to specify a size I'm going to specify it as 64 and I'm going to set it as default null and the third column is city and this is also a watcher and I'm going to specify the maximum size 64 
default null and the last column is commission it's gonna be decimal 3 comma 2 and default null and we need to ex explicitly say which is the primary key so primary key ID there we go let's check it out whether it's correct or wrong create table salespeople okay int ID love one not null auto increment is washer watcher city washer okay commission decimal yeah there we go just hit on to the go button yeah guys as you can see we have successfully created our table now in order to insert data you can do two things one is just click on to the salespeople table and after that just click on to the SQL now you can write your own query in order to insert any data or you can click on to the insert button simply and you can re you, you need to specify your values right here that's the one 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 way or there's a other way that is just click on to the insert button as you can see this is pretty easy just we need to give the name of the salespeople and name of the city commission let's start to insert data so I'm going to give the name like Robert and the city is London and the com commission is 0 0.12 12 percent so I'm coming to this sec second row just give the name as Smith and the city is uh, like let's give New York and the decimal this commission is uh, let's give what to give 10 percent 0 0.10 okay there we go just click on to the go button now as you can see two rows inserted inserted row id 2 just click on to the salespeople these are the inserted row this is the first row and this is the second row and let's insert two more rows i'm going to give it give it a name like okay jackson and the okay, again london and commission is 12 percent and another name what to give like motica and the city name is uh, Barcelona and the commission is 0.13 you might have noticed that I didn't specify any values for the unique identifier is because I defined it as auto increment so no need to specify any values for unique identifier and uh, furthermore yeah that's all for this and just click on to the go button yeah again two rows inserted inserted row ID 4 just click on to the salespeople yeah there we go now we can see four rows has been entered so in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to provide a connection to the database and after providing a connection successfully how to play with this data so this is what for this tutorial hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button i'll see you in the next tutorial